had no hopes uh, or dreams. Uh, uh. I can't help but think about our memories. This is an exclusive first look at Soul Covenant, a VR game that isn't like anything else. This game has deep, emotional storytelling in a post-apocalyptic Tokyo. It's an intriguing story about what happens when AI goes wrong. It's set up like a JRPG narrative adventure and you pick up the bones which turn into weapons from the people in your battle unit. Death and rebirth fuel the game's intensity and you will die a lot. The music, bosses, and graphics are amazing. This was also made by the same dev team behind games like Bloodborne, Astrobot, and Soul Sacrifice. It's also multiplayer and has around 12 hours of gameplay. You can pre-order for 10% off right now. This video is sponsored, but I'm going to give you guys some gameplay for the rest of the video so you can see what Soul Covenant is about. Enjoy! An AI named Adam continues his massacre in the name of governance. Captain Julia of the 7th Troop. She defended me for a mistake I made, paying the cost with her head. Her dreams were pulverized along with her skull. Her limp body remained. The mech regime turned Tokyo into rubble. The central AI Adam was originally created to find true world peace. That's when he began thinking of himself a proxy oh, of God. That's crazy. Adam's idea of God is to be the object of awe, one of overwhelming fear. The mech whore massacred any human that disobeyed. The enemy attacked this vicinity the other day. Captain Julia covered for you at the cost of her head. I'm so sorry. Everyone else was killed. We got this. These are the same ones here. This just means we need to avenge her death. Hear me. Give me the juice. I'm sorry. I don't want to think anymore. Don't get all timid after one loss. To run away is to cause a million deaths. We must protect Tokyo Arc, even with a wall of bodies. I gotta protect them. Being hesitant, there's no way to celebrate the late Captain Julia. That's why I can't keep on fighting. You'll understand if you see it close. It looks just like... Massive monad response confirmed. This is a god of mechanism. Deus Ex Machina. Don't come over oh. here! Please! Trump. We can't let it invade. The remastering will begin again. I know. Don't let them oh. near Tokyo Art. I think this is the same mech that pulverized Captain Julia's head. There are several points that do not match previous data. For example, there appears to be a humanoid face on the mech's body. Come here, you. Don't look at me with that face! Don't look at me! Wait, this is... I wanted to meet you again. What is this? Where is this voice coming from? Confirmed rescue signal by Captain Julia from the same coordinates. She does oh. still asking for help. I I told you, didn't I? I am still here. Is it is it coming from the mech? Monads. These memory dense monads are filled with the memories of those who fell prey to the mech. If you take them back to Tokyo job, Art everyone. for analysis, they may provide you with some insight. Having learned human emotion, the mech used our voices to wear us down. It was Captain Julia's face. This was the same mech that tore her apart. I was supposed to fight this thing? I couldn't keep a grip on my scapegoat. All I could do was watch the enemies retreat. Eve said that wasn't Captain Julia. The cold-hearted AI ordered us to fight. We went to the enemy base, the Nexus. I always think of the captain's words before fighting. Leave your human feelings behind. Never had it been more difficult. Scapegoats are the gravestones of warriors. 
their management is the core function of the database of the dead. Offer Monad points to strengthen your connection to the underworld. Your dead comrades will help you even more. The old underground highway is dotted with enemy strongholds. The Nexus, an important mech organ, is our landmark. We must break this deadlock before our defenses collapse. This operation is a battle for control. Enter the enemy's Nexus and destroy them. I repeat, that is the enemy. Refusal to fight is a death sentence. The target mech is now named the Holy Mother. Please got take it, it down. Captain. The enemy learned from the memories it has captured and turns its outer shell into something invoking dread. It is for the efficient rule over humans. In many cases, they turn into godlike beings as a result of learning what humans potentially fear. However, the changes we can see taking place with the Holy Mother are a The enemy is trying to confuse and upset certain people. They may be beginning to understand the mechanisms of emotion from their learning. Turn the security handle to open the door. Security protocol disabled. Massive monad response ahead confirmed. It must be the mech in question. The captain always just called us by our IDs. She never called me by my name. I think I know why. Getting friendly is dangerous when you know you're going to die. Yeah, it is. I need to throw away my human feelings, just like the captain said. I wanted to meet you again. It's really... It's really Julia's voice. I am still here. I can tell they're not adults. I spent my whole life fighting. I can't help but think about our memories. But I had you. What in the world are we fighting again? Yes! Monad response is still active. It needs to be completely destroyed. I told you that forgiveness is not needed. Enemy mech reboot sequence detected. Please hurry. Why the hesitation? Huh? Please. What's happening? Believe me. Don't be fooled by their voices. I, Don't do this. I am right here. Don't do this. Can't you see? That is uh. Captain Julia. Uh. All I want ah. is to... Put me down. No. Don't. Put me down. Oh. Don't do this. Uh. Ah. Uh. Extreme uh. trauma detected. Blood pressure rapidly dropping. Uh. By all estimations, you cannot survive. Please prioritize protecting your re device. Oh, no. By all estimations, you cannot survive. Please prioritize protect. Thanks for watching. Go check out Soul Covenant. It's a super fun game with amazing graphics and an interesting story. I'll leave the links in the description.